This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features in Premiere Pro and Audition, the 2014 release for the Creative Cloud. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to set frame size so you can easily do pan and scan effects. This takes some explanation. So, open this up. If I load a graphic, say we're doing Ken Burns moves, I load a graphic. This is a sequence. If I go up the Sequence menu, select the Sequence, Sequence menu, it's DV, so it's standard def. It's running at 30 frames a second, all standard def. This is an image which is 2,100 pixels across by 1,200 pixels high. When I edit this down into the timeline, it is automatically scaled to fit. And the reason we know that is if I right mouse click on the clip, notice that scale to frame size is checked. If I don't check scale to frame size, I'm now seeing the image at its full 100% size, which allows me to do things like Ken Burns moves or pan and scan moves, except it's really hard to work with this image. Well, we have a new option. And this new option is here, where we say set to frame size. What set to frame size does is it scales the image without rasterizing it. If I double click this clip to load it up into the source monitor, go to effects controls, twirl down motion, notice that the scale's been set to 40%. This is a really fast way for me to take a really large image and get it to fit inside the frame. I can then increase the size of the image to do, say, like a zoom in or change the position and do a pan and a scan. Because I'm working with the image at its 100% resolution, 2100 by 1200, I've got all the detail that I would possibly want as I'm looking at this image. And it's all because of a new menu choice. You right mouse click on the clip itself and turn on set to frame size. Set to frame size will change the scale in the effects control panel such that it the scale makes the image bigger or smaller so it perfectly fits inside the frame without rasterizing it which means you can zoom in pan and scan and have your image quality be as high as possible this is a really nice feature a combination of both making it fit inside the window when that's necessary or making it a hundred percent to get you the best possible quality when you're doing moves on stills this has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at new features inside Premiere Pro and Audition, both the Creative Cloud 2014 release. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store. Membership is a great value, especially if you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership in our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 700 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.